Hello everybody, welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, we are going to unbox uh, Phantom Premonition. It's the white-blue commander deck from Kaldheim. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. Uh, these just came out uh, on Friday, and they have, since they have started doing the commander decks replacing what used to be the planeswalker decks i've really really liked it there's still you know still an issue with a whole bunch of packaging here not anywhere near as much as it was but like all of that unnecessary what is it's just like a whole pile of goodies in there so we got learn to play commander that spinny life thing and the cool deck box that's looks like it is big enough for a sleeve card let's find out yeah they finally made them finally made them big enough for sleeves so that's cool they may have done that the past couple of times. I don't know. I, I didn't check. But to Renar here, uh, we will make every attempt to focus this Joker in. Okay. Ever watchful. Four mana, two, three, flying vigilance. The first card you foretell each turn costs zero to foretell. Okay. Whenever you exile one or more cards from your hand and or permanent from the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one spirit token with flying. So, this tells me that whenever you exile one or more cards from your hand, when you foretell your card into the exile zone, you get a spirit. Huh. Now, also, that would be, what, sending creatures on an adventure? Hmm. So let's see what's in this blue-white, probably foretell-themed deck. We have Banishing Light, Cloud Goat Ranger. You know, it's got some tokens. Evangel of Heliod. This this is this looks like hardcore tokens. The Flicker Wisp to blink either one of those. Whoa, that's a ghostly prison. That's beautiful art on that ghostly prison, too. Do we have a gold knight commander? Core cartographer? Momentary blink? Return to dust? Wall of omens? Ghostly flicker? We are straight up blinking some stuff. Uh, Mist raven? Mole drifter? Seagate oracle? Whirler Rogue. Windfall's always nice. Cloud Blazer. This is blinktastic. That is beautiful Empyrean Eagle art. Uh, migratory Route. Miss Metal Witch. Hardcore Blinking. Whenever a creature... Whoop. Whenever a creature is exiled from the battlefield, but it can't... Yeah. Soul Hoarder. Thunderclap Wyvern. There's an Arcane Signet. Out of those, Azori Signet, Burnished Heart, Commander Sphere, Marble Diamond. I was looking for a Meteor Golem the other day. Meteor Golem, Mind Stone. Is there no Blue Diamond? We got the uh, the white one, but no blue one. Cosmic Intervention. This is a new card. If a permanent you control would be put into a graveyard from the battlefield this turn, exile it instead. Return it to the battlefield until it's control at the beginning of the next end step. So this saves your creature from dying. If somebody's going to kill it. Huh. Uh, Hero of Bredegard, another new card. Three mana, one, one. Whenever you exile, this has got a lot of text on it, man. Nine lines of text. Whenever you exile one or more cards from your hand and or permanents from the battlefield, 
put that many counters on this guy girl this human warrior as long as hero has five or more counters on it it has flying and's an angel okay as long as it has ten or more counters on it it's an indestructible god angel human warrior huh stoic farmer another new one uh, four mana, three, three, and there's battlefields. Search your library for a plains. Reveal it if opponent controls more lands than you. Put it on the battlefield tapped. Otherwise, put it in your hand and shuffle your library. Wow, wow, that's an awful lot of hoops to jump through. It's a four mana, three, three. ETBs, you get a plains. Why is it tapped? Uh, Sage of Beyond. Spells you cast from anywhere other than your hand cost two less to cast. That is beautiful wording. I love, I love that. Sage from Beyond. Spectral Deluge. Return each creature your opponent's control with toughness X or less to the owner's hand where X is the number of islands you control. Okay. Cert Land Elementalist. Uh, it looks like we are into... They integrated some Kaldheim cards because this is just straight from Kaldheim. Uh, Serlin Elementalist. Tales of the Ancestors is new. Each player with fewer cards in hand than the player with the most cards draws cards equal to the difference. Huh, that's neat. Ethereal Valkyrie. Six mana, four, four flyer. This is a spirit angel, so for all of those uh, Kamigawa spirit arcane decks, yeah. Uh, enters the battlefield or attacks, or attacks, draw a card, then exile a card from your hand face down. It becomes foretold. Wow. Angel of Finality. Angel of Serenity. Cleansing Nova. Eerie Interlude. Geist Honored Monk. Marshall's Anthem. That's a Restoration Angel. What? Stormherd. Why not, right? Sun Titan. Arcane Artisan. Curse of the Swine. Day of the Dragons. Oh. I see. Turn them 1 1s into 5 5 Dragons. Inspired Sphinx. Synthetic Destiny. That's a Brago. Okay. Hey, there's our Sky Diamond. And the Soul Ring. Swift Foot Boots. Are we to... It looks like we're to non-basic lands. Azorus Chancery. Azorus Guildgate. Pretty Command Tower. Cryptic Caves. Meandering River. Myriad Landscape. Opal Palace. Sejiri Refuge. Dang, did they get this mana base from one of my decks? <laughs> it looks like one of mine, doesn't it? Uh, Tranquil Cove. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen planes. Drop them over in the planes box. Gosh, that's a pretty island. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve islands. And then we have Call Time. Iron Verdict. Warhorn Blast. Behold the Multiverse. Raven Form. Saw it coming! Nico Defies Destiny. Vega the Watcher. I love the Replicating Ring. I'm not going to lie. It does take eight turns, but you know. All right. Gates of Istfel. How do you feel about these uh, guild lands here that has the guild uh, the guild activation cost and you sack it? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Probably grow me. Glacial floodplain. Uh, all of the tokens that you would need, double sided. Let's look at the Pegasus token. The Pegasus token's cool. Thopter still looks very Kaladeshi, doesn't it? And then the uh, popular Magic the Gathering formats, and then on your turn. So that is it for Renar. Um, yeah, I do not have a binder for this set. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is 
just having like the back of the binder or whatever it is for Commander. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, that's what I've got for today. I uh, do apologize for a couple days of not posting. It was uh, many, many factors that played in there with it. So, um, you know, technical difficulties, time difficulties, and hey, we had a set release. So expect more unboxings after this one. Uh, y'all know how I do. It'll be a string of them. I appreciate y'all watching, and we will see y'all next time.